limits and continuity of functions. Here's the intuitive idea of a limit. Let f be a function given by y equals f of x. Further, suppose that phi is defined at each x on some open interval i containing a, except possibly at a itself. When we say that L is the limit of f of x, as x approaches a, we mean that f of x gets close to L, as x gets close to a. First example. y equals f of x equals 2x plus 3 and a equals 0. Now, observe that f is defined for all real number x, hence, for every interval i containing a equals 0. We shall now investigate the function value of f of x, when x is close to 0 but not equal to 0. See Table 1 and Table 2. Table 1 shows the values of f of x, when x is greater than 0. Table 2 shows the values of f of x, when x is less than 0. From Table 1 and Table 2. We see that the value of f of x equals 2x plus 3, gets close to 3 when x gets close to 0. This happens because 3 is the limit of 2x plus 3 as x approaches 0. Here is the formal definition of a limit. Here is an example. Here we have the uniqueness limit. Next is a theorem on the limit of a linear function. Limit of a constant function. If c is a constant, then for any real number a, limit of c as x approaches a is equal to c. The limit identity of a function is described here. The theorem on the limit of a sum of functions, simply says that. The limit of a sum is the sum of its limits. Here is the generalization of the theorem, for the limit of the sum of functions. This is a theorem on the limit of a product. Here, we have a corollary. This is a generalization on the limit theorem of a product. This is a theorem on the limit of a function raised to any positive integer n. The given limit theorem is for functions with real rational exponents. This is a theorem for the quotient of the limit of a function. The last theorem here is about the equality of the limits of two equal functions.